Hi, so today I wanted to talk about a YouTube channel that encouraged a lot of the content that I do, and I hope that it's a lesson to a lot of you that you say the things that you wanted to say um, before you lose the chance to. So a few years ago, I found a YouTube channel called Steel Wheels Down. And on this channel, he has a couple of electronics videos, a couple of rants videos. It's not a big channel when the time that I found it. When I found it, it had about 2,000 subscribers, if that. And he had some thoughts on the transistor. One of the things that drove him nuts is that people would go into engineering semantics. Blackberry, don't touch the microphone. She hasn't touched the microphone for the three hours I've been home. I hit the record button, and what do you do? Cats, man. Blackberry, what's up, girl? How do you know the exact time to break something? Every time. Anyway, I watch this channel, and he has a lot of the same thoughts that I do when it comes to learning. He doesn't believe that you should use the most 100% Wikipedia encyclopedic definition when trying to explain a broad overall concept to somebody in the beginning. And he had a lot of... He fe it seemed like he was very irritated at the fact that they don't actually tell you what a transistor does in school for a very long time. And that's something that used to drive me nuts as well, that, you, you know, there's this basic component that has this basic purpose and does this basic thing, but the way they explain it to you is just so convoluted that it's hard to understand. And his whole thing was that if you explain it the simple way in the beginning, if you explain it in a manner that actually makes sense, then once you get into talking about, you know, the PN junction and the silicone and the germanium and all that other crap later, that it'll actually make sense because you know what it does. You have the basic idea of knowing what the component does. Now when you get into what, how it actually does that, that'll all make sense. And a big part of the motivation to start my channel was watching his. I was reading the comments and I was realizing that you had all these people that were not engineers, that were not electronics hobbyists, that were not electronics repair people or experts, but they were genuinely gaining an understanding of how everything worked as a result of him spelling things out in a basic manner. And he is not the first engineer on earth to explain how most of this stuff works, but what he did is he was one of the first people to explain it to where people actually understood it. And his channel served as inspiration to me to try to take the things that I do and explain them in a manner in which it made sense to everybody. You know, I've heard people say, you know, genius is not being able to explain a concept and, you know, and be technically correct. Genius is being able to make that technical concept something that does not seem like a technical concept. Make it to get to the point where it's just easy. It's common sense where you look at something and somebody who is not a genius or is not a specialist in that field can just look at it and intuitively understand what it's doing because of the way you explained it. And he encouraged me to start doing that. He encouraged me to start, you know, I looked at my channel and I saw that I had two or three border pair videos on it and they sucked. But watching his channel really gave me the inspiration to do this, you know, one board repair a day or, you know, editing one of these videos a day for several years and really going through and trying and, I, and sitting down and thinking to myself, how can I take this advanced concept and explain it in a really, really simple way? That came from what this guy was doing. And I went to send him a message about a year ago and I wanted to thank him for, uh, you know, for all the material that he's created. And not only did I want to thank him for it, but I wanted to show him what I was doing with my channel, and I wanted to show him some of the comments that I was getting from people that had started their own stores or that stopped outsourcing board repair. And I wanted to show him all this stuff, but before I got to that, I, was, I started to read some comments, and I saw the last video he posted to his channel where you could see that, that he died as a result of health problems. So he never got to read my message or know that I appreciate the content that he put up because by the time I thought to send him a message thanking him and telling him, hey, you know, how his content helped me, um, it was too late. And I felt really shitty and depressed about that. So I just wanted to say thank you, Steel Wheels Down. Uh, thank you, Doug, for putting up all that content. Thank you for inspiring me to start a channel that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that puts up this type of content. And, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. And it's, it's really sad that I can't actually thank him, thank a living person. There's something, as Frank has always said, there's something about knowing that you're talking about a person. You're talking about someone's words when there's no longer a breathing body to them that just kind of, he just kind of gives him goosebumps or makes him feel weird. And I kind of feel the same way. 
I really wish I could have said these things and I could have shown him uh, what was going on either while he was still alive, but I can't. And it sucks. But I think that all of you watching this channel would benefit greatly from going over to the Steel Wheels Down channel and watching through all his videos. Again, when it comes to frustrations with how things are explained, you're going to find that we think almost the exact same when it comes to the transistor thing and how dumb the transistor gets explained. Uh, you know, the, this, the, the, the annoying way in which it is explained in school and in electronics textbooks to where you look at it and they're explaining it right. You read the page, but at the end of it, it's like, okay, but what does it do? Just things like that. He was able to simplify all this stuff in a really, in a way that really allowed people to digest it. And it just, you know, it had a profound effect on me. It made me realize that I could have this effect on other people. And I wanted to have the positive effect on other people that his channel had on the people who viewed his channel. And I hope I do. So thank you very much, Doug. Thank you, Steel Wheels Down. And you should go over and check out, check out the material that he uploaded because it's really, really good. And that's it for today.